Next general reaction we need to look at is a metal oxide and an acid. Whenever a metal oxide, so let's take an example, let's go with magnesium oxide, reacts with an acid, and let's use hydrochloric acid, we are going to get a salt, and remember how our salts form? We're going to get a chloride salt from hydrochloric acid, a sulfate salt from sulfuric acid, a phosphate salt from phosphoric acid, and a nitrate salt from nitric acid. So our salt is always going to be the metal ion, so in this case magnesium, plus the chloride. So if it's magnesium with a valency of 2 because it's in group 2, and chlorine with a valency of 1 because it's in group 7, I land up with MgCl2 plus H2O. In balancing that equation, 1 magnesium, 1 magnesium, 1 hydrogen, 2 hydrogens, 1 chlorine, 2 chlorines, 1 oxygen, 1 oxygen. So I'm going to just put a 2 in front over there. You need to set up a table with zinc oxide, magnesium oxide, copper oxide. React each of those three with hydrochloric acid and write the balanced equation. React each of those three with sulfuric acid and write the balanced equation. The truth of the matter is that these are remarkably unspectacular reactions. Salt and water, well you can put that on your table at home. You can put some table salt into water and see how spectacular it is. There's no gases given off, there's no bubbles, there's no explosion, there's nothing. So um, we're not going to do a whole lot of those reactions. I will show you one which has at least got a color change, but usually the observation for this is very unspectacular. You hardly see a thing. So um, with this reaction, here's your website, um, or your link rather, to a video that sort of shows you something. You can see over here that this guy is going to add hydrochloric acid to some copper oxide. Now it turns out that when the copper ion is freed from that oxide, it actually changes color and it gives a green color. Once you've completed constructing the table, try these reactions as well. See what you will get if you put potassium oxide and sulfuric acid, aluminum oxide and nitric acid. Aluminum nitrate will be your salt. Sodium phosphate will be the salt. Magnesium nitrate. So for potassium oxide, it's going to be K2O. Sulfuric acid, H2SO4, potassium sulfate, K2SO4, and water, and that turns out balanced. So you need to construct a table, and you need to work through those four reactions to finish off this section.